Hey guys, well, today's my final flight in the Mooney behind me. It's been sold. I'm gonna be flying it to the new owners and then we're gonna be flying back to my airport and then they're gonna fly it away for good. So this is it. Um, just wanted to get this uh, final video done to end the chapter of uh, the videos I've done with the Mooney. I hope you've enjoyed them. And uh, there's another aircraft that I'll be flying. I'll be posting some videos. Um, but that'll be to come. Enjoy this one, thanks. Well, this has been a six year run in this aircraft. Had a lot of good time in this aircraft. If you guys, I flew it all the way to the west coast and then to the east coast with my dad. I have those uh, videos on YouTube. Um, a lot of Garmin videos talking about the avionics. Uh, I'm gonna miss the plane and then this is the final trip. <laughs> Clear cut! Niner zero at one zero knots. Wind variable between two five zero and three two zero. Visibility more than one zero. Sky condition clear below one two thousand. Temperature two zero Celsius. Dew point seven Celsius. Altimeter three zero 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 inches of mercury. Chester County traffic. Mooney two zero five Juliet departing runway two nine Chester County. Chester County traffic, Mooney is departing the pattern to the south, Chester County. On a day like today, you don't use the autopilot, you hand fly it. This is a really quick flight. Going to uh, New Garden, which is probably literally the closest airport to where I am. We're 83076, seven miles to the northeast, looking at the 45 for 29, Chester County. New Garden traffic, Mooney 205 Juliet is four and a half miles to the north, re-entering a crosswind for uh, 2 4. New Garden. Nice day to be flying. Good, <clears throat> good last flight in this. Maybe a little bit choppy, but I've been in worse. Newgarden traffic, <laughs> Mooney is crosswind, runway 24, Newgarden. Newgarden traffic, Mooney is downwind 24, Newgarden. Yes, some carriage. Extra prop. Gear is down. Newgarden traffic. Mooney is base 24 New Garden. New Garden traffic. Mooney is final 24 New Garden.
So this uh, next flight uh, will be with Brett, who is the new owner. Congratulations, Brett. And Kevin is a flight instructor who's given him his transition training. Show flight timers page. 20 minutes. Uh, I'm not going to prime it because it's a hot start. But normally I put the strobes on and I run the boost pump. And as I run the boost pump, I go mix or I go mixture rich. For like three seconds, you'll see the fuel pressure come sure. up, and I turn it off, pull the mixture out, but it should fire up because it's it's hot right now. Uh, see the distance with my finger here? I just kind of push yep. the throttle in like that amount. Clear prop. Sorry for yelling in your ears, guys. <laughs> Okay, maybe it's gonna need some. All right, I'll give it a mixture. Terrain, system test, okay. Maybe it's flooded, yep, all right. It was a flooded start. All right. So a flooded start. It's throttle all the way in, mixture all the way out. Yeah. Up 3,000. This here, this uh, fuel estimated remaining, yeah. you have to change this when you fuel the plane. Every time, okay. Yeah, anytime you fuel it, because this here is a calculation on fuel flow. Where these here are your wing or your wing gauges. You sure. don't ever change these. These are actually reading, reading what, the, what your and, gauges are. And one are. thing that you said is you like to not fill it up all the way, right? Yeah, I, I'll fill it up all the way if I'm going to go fly. But, and, like, if you're gonna but sit, I don't like yeah, to I don't like to sit it completely full. I usually just if I'm going to fuel it and it's going to sit, I just fuel oh, it to the tabs, right. which is 50 yeah, gallons. Yeah. So that's right the, the two easy two ways one. to fuel and know what you have is if you fuel to the tabs you put this at 50 if you fuel it completely up you put this at 64. okay so and that's right there on your startup so it's it's looking right at you so every time you can just yeah. yep so once if that's good when it's set yeah hit continue and i could bring up i typically bring up engine stuff here the gtn i'm just going to uh, continue new garden traffic uh this is glider so we'll do new garden to coatesville How did you get to, just show me real quick, so you have it like this, how did you get to the engine page again from the beginning? So back, and then just go. So, yeah, you have a, forward. this is a multi-function. Yeah, yep. It's similar in so the, yeah. interface to this, so yeah. here you could do like map traffic train, you got map traffic train. This one has engine, this up, yeah. this doesn't. So that's where you get the engine run up, all that stuff. Yep. Oh, I'm right here at the runway. Yeah. Do a quick run up. Yep. Yeah. So I go to 1900 RPM. And check the mags. No more than 175. Uh, New Darn traffic. A glider 06 Sierra. And you're looking Cross for wind. It. Look good. And then I'm going to do pull, three pulls on the uh, prop here. And I look at manifold pressure, rise. I look for an RPM drop. And I'm going to look for an oil pressure drop. And you're looking that there's no oil sprayed on your window or anything. Yeah. Um, so that basically exercises the prop, gets warm oil into the 
Yep. The so first one is a drop. Yeah, yeah just look here. here. Right. Well, I mean, or you, or you go a rise, drop. A rise, drop, and a drop. Yeah. Mid -feel. Yep. And then I go for an idle Two test. Four. New guard. And the engine doesn't quit, which is a good thing. Yeah. After the run up, we're pretty much ready to go. So just yeah. pull, just pull in on it, the and then push this uh, forward. Glider's coming in here. Oh, glider is coming yeah. in. He's up. Uh, here, here, twelve o'clock. Oh, there he is. Right there. All right, so we'll wait for him. That's cool. That's so much fun. Pretty good. They try to time it so they stop right in front of the people. Yeah. So is he going to be over far enough? Uh, I don't know. He looks. I'll get up there and take a look. Uh, all right. So just close. Yep. And push forward. And then just check. Yep. Yeah. Yep. New guard traffic. Mooney two zero five. Juliet is uh, moving into position for runway two four. New guard. I should be good. For this too, is it? Uh, do you have to have the boost pump on for? Yep. Yeah. Take, uh, so, takeoff is boost pump oh. on, mixture rich, right. one notch of flaps. Yeah. That's a normal takeoff. Okay. On a long runway, you could decide whether you want the flaps or not, but I usually yeah. do it. Um, and then on takeoff. I look down here. I mean, you have green, green. You see all these. You can you, you yeah. quickly scan everything. Yeah. Traffic twenty eight downwind two four. Um, looking for sixty two knots for rotate. Yep. New Garden traffic, Mooney two zero five Juliet's departing runway two four, and will be a uh, northbound departure. All right. So I like to just make sure all yeah. my uh, everything's covered here. Sure. Put my little window closed. And we just slowly go full throttle. Airspeed's alive. Temperatures and pressures are good. Looking for 62. I like to kind of keep my gear down until I'm out of runway, which I am. Yeah. Like if I had to put it back down, my gear's still there. Yeah. And then, so gear goes up and then I get rid of my flaps. There's a glider at your one o'clock. He's a pretty good <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll just extend out a little bit. I guess that's him on traffic here. I don't know if he's showing. That's behind us, isn't it? Or, or maybe that's... Oh, that's not him, that's... Oh, that's uh, ahead of us. Yeah, this is weird. He might not have a transponder. You have, uh, you have your gas burr open back there, Kevin? Yep. All right. I'm going to turn toward Chester County. I usually bring my RPM down to about 2,500 in the climb. Which today is, I'm already there. All right, so then in a cruise. Two thousand twenty back taxi on the ground. Pull, pull the throttle back. Put my cow flaps up. Here's the gauge. You see him start rising. Yep. Get rid of the boost pump. When did when you usually take the boost pump? Oh, finally, we get that? Usually short, like after I after I pull back to twenty five RPM. I'm kind of stabilized in my climb. I get rid of my goof, my boost pump, and I keep the cap flaps open until cruise. So, 
We're going to be at Coatesville quick, so I'm just going to throttle back. I usually cruise at like 24 inches, 20, 2400 RPM. So I'll, I'll just do 20 inches and 2400 RPM. Usually, the tw usually I just always pretty much am using 2400 RPM. And then the throttle, you're fluctuating your manifold pressure. For more power or less power, it's just like the 172 at that point after yeah. that set. Yeah. And then there's a lean find um, thing with the engine. I'm not going to like go through it. I mean, you hit this yeah. and you hit this lean button. Yeah. And you can lean it out. I showed Kevin how that works. There's a video on that. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of know the setting. It's going to be about 3.4 gallons per hour here. So I'll just lean it out. Lean it out a little bit before I have to go full rich anyway. <laughs> yeah. So I'll switch over to Chester County. So please, uh, Yankee Romeo, turning downwind for 3 4 Cow County. When I go into airports, I typically like this visual thing. Yep. I, I have that on that. Yeah, so you can bring up visual 2-9, activate. You just want to make sure your autopilot's not in nav mode when you do that. And, and then you're on a GPS, because if you do that, um, you've, you've just blown away your GPS. Yeah. Uh, because you're on it. So usually before I do that, I'll go to heading. And say 4 by 5 And the rest of the comp till you're... Uh, up here. One. That's monitoring it, and then that would be transmitting and monitoring it. Yeah. Chester County traffic, Mooney 205 Juliet, it's three and a half mile left base for 29 Chester County. Queen City traffic, down to 232, blah, blah, blah. So landing configuration, I usually, by the time I get into the pattern, I'm around 20 inches. And gear speed on this, you can see here, is gear down is 140. Yeah. Uh, flaps one notch, you can yeah, see here is 132. Yeah. So, here is usually what comes out first, so I, I do gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop. So gas, boost pump on, undercarriage. Like can I hold my hand here on the gear switch to confirm gear down? This is a gear down indication. So double confirm, hand goes off, mixed full forward. Prop full forward. Queen City traffic, eight to eight alpha bound. When you do this, your inches of manifold will drop to eight. Join the left downwind. We're on the two fire pitch on your left. Traffic three zero Yankee. You'll be in sight. I'm going to be on the downwind here. We're going to go one notch of flaps. Start pulling some power. Um, out here in a base, I'm usually looking for. It's like when you approach the airport, you know, and once you get your gear down and stuff, you're at a hundred. Yeah. Out here, I usually like to try and slow to like 80-ish, something in the 80s. So downwind 90, 80, 70. Um, Queen Street traffic, maybe 10 bucks a mic. Yeah, 70 is your final. I'd like to actually get a little slower than 70 on short final. Power County traffic, experimental turning uh, right base. Just remember, we're a little heavy here. here. I'm at 90. Yeah, it's true. I'll keep. Chester County traffic, Mooney is final, 2-9, Chester County. So I'm going to go full flaps here, do another gump check, gas, undercarriage, mixture prop. And this is all forward in case you have a go around. This You go full throttle, you have max power. So here I'm getting in them like lower 80s. Leading off into the 70s here. So I'll come in. And see this little yellow arc? Yeah. You're not supposed to hang out in that yellow arc. There's like a harmonic. So I've kind of tried to like to stay above it or below it. Yeah, and that's managed by power at the end. Yeah, and I'm going to give, we are sinking here because of the weight. I'm going to yeah. give it some more power to get to the runway edge here and then and I'll pull it. Yeah, we are coming down more with this weight. So there's 70. See, I'm floating a little bit at 70. Just pulling back until there's the wheels. 
then there's the nose. So you can experiment, like, I don't know, with the two of you in here, 70 might be the number. With me by myself, I'll float. If I, if, if, if I flare at 70, I'll float. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with this, do I have to worry about the high low volt? Nah, that's that just with, because you're that's just because back? I'm way back. Yeah, yeah. you need <clears throat> this thing. You idle at like 1,200. Yeah. And if you're not at like over a thousand, that'll blink. Yeah. But you can see, you can see our alternator's not making much here. Yeah. But the bus is fine. I mean, any over over 23, you're good. This is 24 and a half. That's the battery condition. <clears throat> but you'll see that'll go away and my alternator will come back up yeah. once I add some power. Chester County traffic on your 501 Mike Alpha, 5 miles southwest and down 29, Chester County. Chester County traffic, Mooney is clear, runway 29, Chester County. All right, so landing cleanup. I'll take my boost pump off, put my flaps back up. Lower my cow flaps, um, and then retrim for takeoff. Yeah. Your trim wheel is right here, but you also have electric trim right here. So then here's your gauge for yep. trim, um, and then lean it out a bit. Yeah. So that's that. Yeah. One thing too is uh, you have to alternate. Uh, it doesn't draw from both tanks. Yep. So what what did you like? So I just look here. Like there's no there's no limitation. Like you have. To, I mean you can drain one side down. I like to try and keep it balanced. So balance of each other five or so. I mean like you see here once I once I see like you know like a five gallon split then I'll just reach down and flip this over. In With flight. Boost pump, right? In flight you go boost pump, switch over, boost pump off. To, is, is what the so uh, like five seconds on the boost pump. POH calls for, yeah. and you can see, like when you do that, I boost pump. You can see fuel pressure. See how it rises. So they're kind of and then you switch. Seven eleven. Uh, and then boost pump off. Of yeah. the fuel, fuel pressure at drops. At two thousand, we'll be going around the west end. Uh, oh wait, I'm to used to for two nights, going enough. back to the hangar. Yeah. Uh, I'll turn it around. Not going back to the hangar anymore, Mooney. Sorry. All right, so oh, you can see how my alternator's up. You can see the bus yeah. is up to 28.8 now. That's out. So let me pull back to see where you need to be for that. I think at 1100 it's still good. You can see bus voltage dropping. So that's 900,000. Let's see, 29. You basically, if you're taxiing, okay, so you need a little over 1,000, but that might be too fast, depending on you know where you are on your ramp. If you're downhill, this setting, you're gonna be taxiing a bit on the fast side. Show flight timers page. So this one was 24. So then the shutdown, I just go across here with the switches off, off. Off, off, off. Okay. Yep. And then when... So I assume you're flying? Yeah. Okay, is he flying? He's gonna fly. All right, so we can sw we'll swap the headsets now. Is that okay? Right, this is, and when it locks. Yeah, that's good. And then, but when I close it, it'll, it, it don't just, have to do anything pull, special. Just pull on well. it. Okay. Yep. You need to get out, you almost have to stand straight up. Okay. Yeah, I'll go through the, I'm going to get my camera shut down here. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the flight. Last one in the moonies. See ya.